July 14th around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. What's left of Hurricane Barry is now a tropical storm moving inland over Louisiana. Tropical Depression 4E is about to die off in the eastern Pacific right now. We're up to 33 storms so far this year on July 14th and possibly more on the way. Day 44 of Atlantic hurricane season in Vest 93L has a very low chance of developing as it approaches the uh, Windward Islands. Day 61 in the Eastern Pacific where 4E persists but not for much longer. In the Western Pacific, Invest 98W might have a chance of developing later on in the next few days as it nears the Philippines. No systems are active in the Southern Hemisphere at this time, it's all quiet here. So the main feature of course is Tropical Storm Barry which right now has winds we expect of 60 miles per hour and a pressure of 999 millibars. Its current position is at 30.7 degrees north, uh, 92.8 degrees west, puts it 48 miles from Alexandria, Louisiana, the center of the storm, most of the convection still well displaced to the south. It will continue to weaken throughout the rest of this weekend into early next week, becoming a tropical depression probably as it moves over Arkansas and then uh, degenerating into a remnant low as it uh, scoots off over towards the northeast. What's left of the system will eventually reach the northeast by late next week. Current wind shear graphics, what they're worth, uh, huge amounts of wind shear as the storm ventures north. That's why most of the convection is staying down there over the Gulf of Mexico waters because that's the only area where it can't be sheared away with that low amount of wind shear there just off the coast. 40 knots where the center of Barry is right now, so it's not going to live very much longer with tropical storm force winds. Looking at the latest imagery, this is the North Atlantic right now, a little disturbance there in the Eastern Caribbean. Uh, what's left of 93L, it, well it is still there definitely, uh, but not looking too great on that imagery. Um, and Barry obviously taking up a huge part of the left hand side of your screen. Uh, looking at the close up of the Gulf of Mexico, you can see it in even more clarity here. Uh, there it is with a huge band off towards the south, most of it over open ocean, or at least the sea. Um, 4E is on the right hand side of your screen there and it is exposed now, that convection just uh, petering away in those last few frames. Looking towards the central part of the Pacific, not too much going on, one or two little disturbances that aren't going to develop. In the Western Pacific, Invest 98W is located uh, not too far from uh, Palau and Yap towards the northwest uh, and is likely to continue towards the northwest towards Luzon in the next few days and could develop into a tropical cyclone. We'll wait and see what happens with that one. Um, obviously typical tracks usually take them, the storms towards Luzon or Taiwan. Uh, the Australia and South Pacific region looks like this right now. Uh, Flare-ups off the uh, northeastern part of the uh, Solomon Islands and in the Indian Ocean things looking pretty quiet in general. Um, almost. There's some monsoonal activity over Bangladesh and India. A little disturbance down there in the southwest Indian Ocean. We'll wait and see if that develops into anything. Highly doubtful at this time of year. Sea surface temperatures remain very warm in the easternmost East Pacific with 30 degree temperatures plus still warm off the coast of Louisiana despite Barry at the moment. Also warming up very uh, much along the coast of Florida there uh, and out into the open Atlantic. The North Indian Ocean a little bit cooler now, um, temperatures generally below 30 degrees but in the Western Pacific the Philippine Sea still has that hot spot, 30 degree plus waters which are ripe for tropical cyclone development and rapid at that if the right conditions are there. This is Tropical Storm Barry moving inland over Louisiana. It's uh, covered at least a quarter of the state, the center of the storm by now, uh, and it is continuing northwards. Not much of the convection is moving inland on this satellite imagery, but some of it is, especially along the coast, and that's where the main flooding threat is, potentially up to 20 inches of rain. So Barry was a hurricane, however briefly it might have been. The next name on the list is Chantal. 
In the Eastern Pacific, Delilah is next to come. It might have come from 4E, but it doesn't look like that's going to be the case now. The Central Pacific is waiting for Akoni. The next name in the Western Pacific will be Danas, if it's 98W that develops or any other storm that comes up later on. And in the North Indian Ocean, we're looking out for Hika. You can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest. Our YouTube page, search Force 13. If you're not there already, subscribe if you haven't so far. And you can find us on Facebook and Twitter as well by searching our handle. If you'd like to send a message to us on any of those mediums, you're welcome to as well. We'll have another update tomorrow. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. You can also contact me on Discord. It's fool13 at extension 9094 and force13 on Skype. You can also find our server link to our Discord server for tropical weather chat in our description.